This guy from the 17 March, January 28, 2019. Then we But still, Hunzo at like the actions are and Adira could go ten. If we look at the Hadi stop, Unza, Usa, 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 until I was pregnant, until I was pregnant, I was miscarriage because I was pregnant abuse. I was pregnant miscarriage last year, October. Second week of lockdown, I was pregnant until the day I feel like I'm better and I'm better and I'm better and I'm better and I'm And then, the second time, I get that for her more 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 six. If you look, one better happy and hope as a mukamu mukukutu and then come back here until give it a side of it. Am I? It got worse because Nansa and better before lockdown, but how you compare the lockdown and before for lockdown it was worse. He got Anger because una una to high so ena na sa thole next month mero kungwa high so kibona ka una na le stresses se sinchi batho ba ko habo bane ba mufunela ba nyaka chelet and side tena na asa bere ka sa thole any income ke na le scratch marks and whatever mo mile nwa ka so ke a iputsisa gore na if kit 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 la ba kit la there will be the other day mo kitlo tlake khumana motho e ke mogata I was like, I'm because I'm like, the short sleeve shirt because I'm lady mask. I'm like, 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 I'm My name is Brown Legegela. I'm the founder of Grindo. Grindo is a temporary shelter for survivors of sexual gender-based violence in Deep Sloot. Um, Grindo was started in 2013 as they respond to what was happening um, to women and children. It fills the gap that is there in the community for women who cannot go and report their cases to the police station due to different reasons, that they don't have trust in the police, um, in our justice system, and um, the police station is far away from the community, so they take time to go to the police station. Or when they go to the police station, they end up not arriving at the police station. They end up dead because along the way to go and report such cases, they are victimized, they are raped and they are, they are killed. The abuse has gone up. There are people, who, a lot of people who are coming to report cases to me. And there are also people who cannot, who did not uh, come to report cases to me because of lockdown regulations. But I get those cases when I go and do house visits and do door to doors and distribute some food parcel to one of my clients or maybe to people that are disadvantaged. That is when I'll get um, these cases. I would like to plead to everyone that we, we, we must not only talk about gender-based violence or sexual violence when there are incidents 
of um, gender-based violence that's been highlighted by social media, the um, TV or radio, like the ones that just recently happened. Um, it's happened every day. It's our daily life. So we need to support NGOs, we need to support NPOs um, that are dealing with um, gender-based violence because it's really hard for us to survive helping these clients without no funds.